Why do we all have to wear these ridiculous ties? First, let me explain what's going on. Battery's charging for the other channel. I did get, I did get five videos out. Uh, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. This doggone thing for the Kanger Tech Mini Box Vapor. Uh, took it to work. Brought it home. It didn't work. And I called them and they tried to sell, upsell me on a new. Uh, adapter for the thing. So I used my phone <laughs> adapter and it's working fine now. I failed though uh, because I ended up buying a pack of cigarettes. This is down to the nub here, but we we're charging this thing. Now they do it. See? These are the text messages that should have came in this morning and I already got the, the order. Yeah, I got the auction order and the pre-auction order. Gee, thanks. Now they send the message after it's delivered. Uh, sorting complete and alpha delivery. It's already been delivered. Finally, they got it right. So, let's go through the issues. I'm going to show you the major ones. You like the Superman? These are going to be the final orders. I may go down to the comic shop and try to pick up uh, any Marvel Spotlight uh, back issues of Ghost Rider in, a, in addition to that. But let's pick up this. This is 2008. I love the cover on this. Uh, I may get lit some later, but right now I'm not going to be ordering for a while. Uh, Billy Batson and the Magic of Shazam comical take on Shazam. Uh, interesting art. Weird, <laughs> but interesting. Um, I have number two to get on this. Uh, and I love get, I love this particular series. I really do because the actors are real old or even died or whatever. And uh, it was a popular show, I think, as far as the UK and everything like that. It's become a cult classic. And to get these from Charlton Comics is uh, really great for me. Space, 1999, number five. All I need is number two for this particular run of books. And I tried to get two, but it just didn't work out. Number two. Or number, yeah, number two, and that's five. Of course, I got six. Space 1999, number six. 1976, both those issues. I had a few Charlton. <laughs> um, I had a gold key, the last gold key of Digest, something Comics Digest, number 49. Just realized it, you know, and, uh, and they don't have it yet. So I'm looking to get that. I have this in my collection. This is required. And this is Thor 281. I did have DC and Charlton and some other books. So I'm not. It's just strictly a Marvelite. And I don't want to spend my entire check on uh, books, getting back issues right now. I do have to save up. I spent enough. These are all pre-auction issues. Tomb of Dracula, last one, is the pre-auction, pre, pre, uh, pre, uh, pre-auction issues that I did win. You saw in the videos below. Go down. <laughs> uh, this is a fight between Blade and Dracula. The, this Blade is a doppelganger. I didn't realize it, but I thought it was the fight between uh, Blade himself and Drac two Dracula. Horror book. So those I got. And 
and uh, as I smoke uh, this dumb cigarette with carcinogens, we've unboxed the auction issues. This cost me a total of that I won. Two hundred and seventy two dollars. Let those out now. These are uh, issues that I have uh, been trying to get for a while, been wanting in my collection, not, not that I uh, had, to, had to get them in. Um, this one, actually, one of them I did have in my. This is the issue that, <coughs> excuse me, this is the issue I had in my collection and it's a fight between uh, Hercules and Thor and it is 4.5, had it in my original collection. Uh, to get this back uh, in an auction costs less than getting it in, um, you know, the, the, the actual uh, book itself. So I got it in a high grade. Uh, it would have cost me a bundle, but uh, I got it in uh, the auction uh, online, and that was just wonderful because I got it for less than it would actually cost if I bought it outright. Four twenty-six. particular issue is uh, uh, classic, although it is very low grade, very low grade. Uh, I, in particular, wanted this as well as the second part story to this, which would also cost me a bundle to get, uh, but I got this. This one cost me eighty-one dollars. Eighty-one dollars. But even though it's low grade, I do have the issue. As far as issues like Credible Hulk 181, no. <laughs> one high grade for that, at least. The best we can get. At least 8.5, 8 8.0. And this would be. The next one is really popular, so 26 and 25, having those in my collection is really nice. Kind of proud of that. I won it. <laughs> These guys didn't get it, so I was uh, I was watching this stuff like a hawk. And this particular issue, I don't want any to get. And I think we all know who it is, those of you who know. Three point oh, not a high grade, but I do have the issue. And uh, usually my comic shop puts something in the back on it. It did this when I bought uh, Tales of Astonish fifty nine. That is Ghost Rider, Marvel Spot. First appearance of Ghost Rider. <laughs> uh, little history on the uh, 
I never read this before. Um, on the Fantastic Four, he's called. They had the Hulk is called Bob Banner. In it, that's one of the, the history lessons on the trivia. So this is a good issue to have, uh, even though it's low grade, lower than the Fantastic Four and Thor. Very careful that. It's like a weird 2.0 for this one. I just think the tape is getting out. This, uh, when you pull something out like this, it's delicate. So it's almost golden. to get a higher, higher grade on this later on. So, uh, if you want these issues, buy yourself.